Hi and welcome to the shopping cart video tutorial series. In this video I'll be talking about how to display your shopping cart products on your website. So to get started I'm going to go to the page editor first. Next find your page in the list of pages available and click edit. And from here it's just as easy as drag and drop. Take the shopping cart object and drag it down to one of the cells in the grid. From here you have two options. You can choose from a list of available products, or you can choose to place a search box on this page. Once you've selected your item, just hit Place Item. You can choose to put more than one item on a page, and there are two different ways to do that. The first way is the same way we just did it. Grab the shopping cart object and drag it to a new cell on the same page. And you're presented with the same options. Now you have two products on this page. Let's save this and see what it looks like on the website. So this is our home page. As you can see, the products page has been added to the menu. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is the products page that we just created. As you can see, our two shopping cart items are on the page. I mentioned before that there are two ways to drop items onto this grid. The first way is to give each item its own individual cell. The second way is to put all your items into the same cell, like this. Now we have two items in the same cell. Let's save the page and see how it looks. The two items are displayed in exactly the same manner as before. The advantage to using this method of putting items on a page is that you can put as many items onto this page as you like. You're not limited by the number of squares you have in the page editor. The third option is to drop a search box onto the page instead of an item, like this. This will place a search box and allow you to browse categories. Let's see how it looks. Now instead of product items, I just have a search box and a browse categories button. Now I want to show you a method that you can use to display your products on your pages and still have them divided into categories. We call this the product category method. The first thing to do is to type in your website address, followed by slash shopping, like this. This brings you to a page that displays all of your products and all of your categories. Here are my categories, and here are my products. Go ahead and click on one of the categories. This will display all the products from just that category. And it even breaks it down into pages for you. There are six items on this page. And if I hit next, I can see the last two. And then I can hit previous to go back. So now that we're looking at just this category, go ahead and copy the URL in your address bar. Go back to the site builder, and then click menu navigation. You can reference the menu navigation video to learn a little bit more about this feature. We're going to add a custom menu link for this product category. So the first thing to do is give it a name. I like to call it the name of the category. In this case, stuff. Next, paste that link right here. And then specify whether or not you want it to open in the same window or a new window. When you're finished, click add link. Next, find that page in the list of available pages and add it to your menu. Once it's in your menu, hit Save Menu System. Let's go see how it looks. I now have a fifth menu item in my main menu called Stuff. If I click on it, it brings me right to the Stuff category. 
People with lots and lots of different shopping cart items find this method easier for displaying their items, rather than dragging and dropping each individual item onto a page. This is what my menu system looks like after I've added all of my categories. I just click on one of them, and it displays everything in that category. And that's the product category method. Thanks for watching this video.